All right. I was, again, I'll ask this question just quickly, just as a, a nice straw poll, a bit of exercise. Um, who, who thinks the market, um, from an employment perspective for graduates right now, is good? Someone? Who thinks it's going to flatline, basically? And it's about the same, and, and you know nothing's really going to happen. No one? Who who thinks the market's going to decline, and there's not that much opportunities out there for graduates in 2016? Which is the main of them. Okay, and not too many people are kind of. Uh, people don't think. Some people don't think that it's going to going to happen. All right, fair call. I'll I'll, I'll I'll do that. So the first point again that, that that we'll make too, guys, exactly like the lady's talking about there, right? Create your own market, and there's there's strategies and things that you can do to create your own demand. So whether or not you know WA as an example, or Australia is in a boom or a bust cycle, right? There are strategies and things that you should always be doing to make sure that you're the last person that, if um, in the unfortunate event you get made redundant you're the last person that basically switches off the light. And if you are in that unfortunate event that you are made redundant, um, people will be bashing down the door to hire you because they're going, great, we've got hold of him or her, um, they're away. So I'm not gonna talk about the market because it's irrelevant, right? Next. A lot of people ask me in terms of just broadly, and I need, I need to put this up just to give you some context about the industry and about why you made a smart decision to get into the ICT sector, right? I'll give you some slides at the end, and there's a raft of information on this as well. I won't bore you to tears, but here is just a, an absolute subset of some different things that are happening in and around Australia and happening in and around the globe at the moment. So um, one of the interesting things, of course, is ageing population. We all know about technology disruption, um, mobility, digital, you know, the internet of things that's all coming through. There's a lot of work and things happening around um, solar. You know, just have a look at what um, Elon Musk is doing and a few others. Um, education, you know, if you think about you know, parents, one of the things that they will never compromise on is making sure their children get a good education, which hopefully underpins getting a good start in life. I put the comment on there about fast, flat and free because basically, as my earlier point, technology is making things change at a rapid rate. Um, technology is also making sure geographic boundaries that were in place before are no longer, right? You have a look at um, look at the telecommunications sectors, you know, WhatsApp and other things have disrupted the telecommunications sector in a big way. So SMSs and those sort of things have changed, Skype, right? Um, freemium is the big one, right? If you're, a, if you're a newspaper, you're struggling to sell subscriptions now. And a lot of subscription-based businesses, even with um, the likes of um, uh, a lot of subscription-based businesses, are finding it hard to find out what models. You know, look at Netflix, look at QuickFlix and those sorts of things as well. If they get it right, they're absolutely set. Um, financial management is a big one. FinTech is disrupting things in a big, big way. So the likes of Visa and MasterCard are under a lot of pressure, right? Um, Agritech is, is another big one that's not often talked about. Um, Tasmania once had a massive, and still does, has a massive industry around forestry. One of its new big industries is aquaculture. So they export a lot of, a lot of um, fish, fresh fish, up to Japan and Southeast Asia. That wasn't around many, many years ago. There's a lot of technology that underpins all of that. And a lot of the issue we've got, of course, is a growing population, less land, um, and less suitable places to, uh, to have it. And if you're really keen for some extra reading, for, uh, as they say, for extra points on the old essay, um, do some reading and research of what's called the Fourth Industrial Revolution, or it's affectionately known as um, excuse me, Industry 4.0, right? That will give you a talking about the whole machinery of things, uh, internet of things, and a number of other bits and pieces.